going to try and answer some of these questions and address your topics because I feel like it makes us connect. Like, it helps our relationship, you know? It's almost like a, a cute date at a park for both of us where, you know, a few times throughout the course of it we make glancing eye contact and then you blush and smile and look down and then I scoot closer to you. And, you know, now that I'm realizing that most of my uh, audience are men and in between the ages of 14 and 17, no less, this is really, really disgusting and creepy. Uh, so let's get on to these before I say anything else that I don't want to. All right. First and foremost, from Dan Haz, what do you think about Favela being removed from MW2? Uh, I didn't even know that it had been removed. I haven't played Modern Warfare 2 in over a year, and I mean, I, it's not that I have been averse to it. I'd probably pop it back in and play it, but I really don't even have it here. I don't even have it in my apartment. Uh, I'm pretty sure the only disc that I did have of Modern Warfare 2 uh, was the one that was broken that I cooked. Uh, that one was already broken before I cooked it, so I, obviously it wasn't worthwhile to keep it. And then the other one, uh, I think, had a fat scratch, and I just—it's not like I'm going to buy another one at this point, you know. So uh, it doesn't impact me. Don't really care. Um, JMRT ninety six DX. Uh, that was thanks for making your name so easy to read. Uh, your favorite classic rock band? Um, I would have to say, hmm, probably Mozart is my favorite. Just classic. Just classic rock star and you know it's just all these people nowadays they're trying to pretend like the Beatles and Rolling Stones or the Who and these newfangled just ridiculous music for kids and it's just not as good you know I I'd, I think it's ridiculous that people are pretending like somehow that music somehow even begins to compare to real classical music like a real rock star like Mozart it's silliness and uh, I can't believe it all these young kids not paying attention to this good music they need to realize what they're missing so uh, yeah there's my answer um Kyle Ten Wolthers smoking. Um, well, see, there's no point in even talking about smoking. It's like what what has been what has not been said about smoking that could be said about it that you haven't heard before. Nothing, nothing. You've heard everything conceivably there is to say about smoking. Like, it, should I buy a pack of cigarettes? Well, I don't know, sir. Do you want to smoke a pack of cigarettes? Because there's no point in me telling you, you know, whether or not uh, what what the impacts of it are. You already know that. It's your decision. It's your life. You want to smoke? Go do it. Smoke ten packs a day. I don't care. But if you're gonna smoke ten packs a day, I would appreciate it if. You don't do it really close to me or next to me. Like I wouldn't like it if you just came in my home and started smoking that much a day. But if you're not impacting anyone, the people around you don't mind the smell. Uh, or even then, if you're outside, people can deal with it if they're outside. You know, that's something I don't like. If you're outside on a patio, the person should be allowed to smoke. You're sitting outside. It's it's fine. You know. Um, maybe an exception could be like a restaurant or if there's like a bunch of kids around, but, uh, who cares? You know, I feel like secondhand smoke is just really way overblown. You know, more people die, probably die from like secondhand French fries at the bottom of bags at McDonald's than they do from secondhand smoke. Um, all right. Mike, T yes, Mike Tassif, English speaking dogs. Um, I don't even, I don't know what you're trying to say. I don't know what you're trying to say. English speaking dogs, um, you know, if they do come here, I really appreciate if they're trying to learn the language, you know, trying to simulate a little bit. Uh, don't just come here, earn money, and then send it back to your home country without learning English, sir, dog. <laughs> All right. Um, JD Still Shady, talk about fat women with no tits. Well, that just seems like a mean thing to talk about. Uh, and I, I don't even know what I what I could say about this topic, you know? I mean, I, I don't have any problem with that. You know, you can't really control how you look like that. I guess you can control your weight to a certain extent because I could definitely be skinnier if I wanted to be, if I would eat more responsibly and if I would actually stick to plans to run outside and not go like four days in a row running and then suddenly be like, nah, this is hard, body transformation, screw that, I'm going to order a pizza or something. Uh, so I guess I could talk about judging fat people, but the whole no tits aspect is throwing me for a loop. Is that the more fascinating part to you? I don't see what I'm trying to address here. Uh, so I'm just going to skip it. All right. That's going to become an, uh, a more common thing here on the topic addressing and question answering show that I'm doing. It's uh, if I don't know where your question's supposed to be, or it's just a nonsensical se sentiment, I'm just going to skip it. Just going to skip it. Sorry. Um, Guitar Man 0497. Who would win, Charizard or Alduin? Um, I would have to say Char. Uh, damn it, no, definitely Alduin. Alduin can do that meteor shower attack, and he's definitely way bigger, you know. And his graphics blow Charizards out of the water. Um, Colin Laser, or sorry, Kalen Laser, advice for first year in high school stories, and uh, have you made people uncomfortable lately? Uh, I mean, I've probably made people uncomfortable unintentionally. I mean, I did go out drinking last night, so there's a good chance that I said a few inappropriate things at a few different junctures, but um, no, I, I can't remember any time recently that I've really just tried to make someone uncomfortable for the sake of being mean or something. Um, but if, advice for first year in high school is uh, my younger brother, or one of my younger brothers, is uh, it's his first year in high school now, and just advice for that is, you know, don't, you don't ever think 
that you're the one walking around who doesn't know what's going on because that's the feeling you're going to have. You're going to feel like everybody else is walking around and they have their shit figured out and that they somehow have insight into things that you don't. But don't think that. Don't think that everybody's lost and bumbling around and if someone pretends like they know what's going on, that's because they've figured out the paradigm of fake it till you make it. In high school, nobody's confident. Nobody's comfortable in their own skin. So generally, when you look at the people who are tend to be cool, they're obviously the most athletic and good-looking kids, but they're also the ones who figured out early just by acting confident people will start to attribute confidence to you. I can only wish that someone had told me that uh, when I was a freshman. But even then, easier said than done. You know, shyness is difficult to overcome for some people. Maybe you're shy and you don't like going up and starting to talk to people. Uh, but, you know, just break out of your box. That's that's what I'm saying. Break out of your box. Unless, like, you're a crazy psychopathic serial murderer and your box is the only thing keeping you from going on a rampant shooting spree at your school, in which case, stay in the box, you know? There's no reason to wander around outside that box that's keeping you and your surrounding uh, colleagues safe. Anywho. Um, GD, too many words and too difficult to say, uh, wants me to talk about Game of Thrones series. I've done that before. Uh, I have been falling off the wagon, actually, or getting on the wagon. No, yeah, I fell off the wagon. That's what it means. Uh, I'm right in the middle, or I'm further in the middle of the last book, and I just haven't read it in the last few weeks. You know, I just, I'm, it's not that I'm losing interest. It's just I haven't done it, you know? I need, what I need to do is I need to go watch an episode of it on HBO just to reinstill that interest in me. I'll be like, oh, I forgot about John. I got to go read up on him, blah, 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 and all that. So, uh, that's what I need to do to get back into the Game of Thrones book series. Um, but if you're talking about the TV series, it's very good. I enjoy it. Um, Twitter versus Facebook. Uh, they're incredibly similar, but the only difference is I feel that on Twitter, you can unfollow someone or you can distance yourself from them without any real implications of like, oh, he's not my friend anymore because he doesn't follow me or that kind of bullshit, uh, like Facebook. Uh, and so on Twitter, I feel it's a lot more... Uh, audience and person tweeting something and on Facebook it's a lot more uh, just kind of everybody throwing up things like just regurgitating shit into the feed and then you kind of have to see it and so you you're forced to read a lot more stupid stuff on Facebook because every time someone tweets something dumb you could conceivably unfollow them and just get them off that off your timeline but on Facebook you have to kind of think about it and be like oh do I really want to unfriend them do I want to deal with that what if they get pissed or they send me a message or something no, I'm just going to deal with their stupid you know song quote or their out of context ridiculous bible verse that they sent or put up or uh, something like that so that's the main difference between Twitter and Facebook because I feel like on Twitter you actually get to pick more of the people you care about and on Facebook there's already enough social stigma with removing someone uh, and that kind of stuff that you can't make it as funny so Sharp Nigel Thoughts, views of Ireland, also funny cultural stereotypes. Uh, I have never been to Europe, uh, and I am almost positive that Ireland is in Europe. Almost positive. Uh, that or South America. So I don't really have much of an opinion on Ireland because I haven't been there. Just like, but you know, I'm. That's what I think is funny is I get asked opinions on other countries, and I usually will say like a joke or not really t say anything serious because I can't judge a country till I've been there. But so many foreign people on the internet will just be like, oh, you want me to give my opinion on America? Americans are just fat idiots, and they suck, and everybody's horrible. And what's funny is Americans are like the only ones who are like, you know, you're kind of right. They are kind of stupid. And like, if you attack another country as an American, they'll be like, oh yeah? Oh yeah? Well, America's fat! And just get angry. You know, I think it's funny. Uh, so, that really didn't answer your question even a little bit. Even, not at all, even at all. So I'm sorry. And uh, cultural stereotypes, I'm sorry. I, I don't even know. I, I can't pull any out of the air right now to think of. Um, Mason Rabum, do you think we'll see the colonization of the moon and or Mars in our lifetimes? Uh, you know, I, I have no idea. I have no clue. Like, that's just one of those things that it seems like the only reason we went to space in the first place was to outdo... Um, the Russians and to show how awesome we are and that seems to be the case because since all the competition fell back we have fallen back as well and we don't really feel the need to assert our dominance over the other nations uh, so unless there's a lot of competition coming up soon I really don't think it'll happen in our lifetimes and if it does happen in our lifetimes we're not going to see it we'll be old and frail and unlike you know colonizing you know America you couldn't just go over there and just you know just buy the boat full like if we ever colonize Mars you're going to have to like make sure everybody's like super physically fit and like really smart and intelligent and you're going to be putting like the best and brightest people there uh well maybe that we wouldn't want to put all of our best and brightest there like we put we like send a convention of every scientist responsible for making like all of these modern day, day amenities that we are that we like and they go to that 
awesome moon fort or whatever and they're all toasting and then like the glass cracks and they all just like their hot eyes pop out and then everybody's sitting back on earth and horror is like oh, shit and then slowly over the next few days because all the scientists are gone everything starts falling apart like nobody can figure out how to start anything my tv breaks nobody to fix it. well i guess that's not really science but uh 3d movies wouldn't get any better that'd be scary you know just kidding 3d movies suck um anywho that's pretty much all i feel like answering right now i could do this conceivably as long as i want because it's the internet and there's no time limit on my upload, but uh, it's just easier to make up a lie and say I have to go do something, so uh, I have diarrhea. There, there's my excuse. All right, I will talk to you guys later, and I love you.